Hi, welcome to our account schedule series in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm Lynn Braden, a Dynamics 365 Business Consultant at Western Computer. Today, we will be covering part two, account schedule filters and dimensions. So to get started, let's go to our account schedule list. And if we're talking about doing filtering on account schedules, I think the income statement would be good. Go to Process and Overview. In this overview, you can view it by day, by week, month, quarter, year, or accounting period. We'll keep it at month for now. As far as filters go, there's two filters here for your global dimensions, your department filter, and the customer group filter. So how would you filter your income statement? If I wanted to see an income statement with just a particular department, I would just go here. Say I want to see the production income statement. Click OK. And it filters all your data for just the department for production. Same thing. Let's try the sales income statement. And that filtered for just the sales department. Furthermore, there's an additional filter here for customer group. So let's just say maybe I want to see only the customer group for large businesses. And that filtered it further. So now this data only includes items for the sales department and that are associated with the customer group for large companies. Let's take these filters out for just a moment and drill into this data all the way down to the GL entry table. If you look at this list here, in particular, this line item, this line's not associated with any department code. So this could be a problem. Because if we're looking to have filtered financial statements and we only want, say, it to be a particular department, the fact that this doesn't have a department, that would make our financial statements possibly incorrect. So how would we fix that? Well, let's go into the GL account card. For this account, 40200. What you would do on this GL account card is you'd go to Account, Dimensions, and I would choose the department code here, and then over here, make it code mandatory. So therefore, nothing would post to this GL account 40200 unless it had a department associated with it. So this particular issue hopefully will never happen again. Let's take a look at the additional filters possible. Here you just have the two global dimension filters, but what if I wanted to filter off of a different dimension? Let's go back to your list. So on this list, you have something called analysis view entries or analysis view name. So let's edit this list and look at our options here. Looking at our options for these analysis views, I notice there's one here called all dimensions that has all three dimensions associated with it. So just taking a view at it, I noticed that the start date, 1-1-2020, would ensure that any data that I wanted to report on after this date would have the option for filtering on any one of these three dimensions. So this is what I want. So let's go ahead and assign this analysis view name to this income statement. And let's see what it does. Go back into process and then overview. 
And now you can see, we have not only the option for customer group and department, but now we also have region filter, which is the additional dimension that we wanted to filter off of. Hopefully this was a helpful hint and helpful information for you to be able to filter your dimensions on your account schedules and using the analysis view names if need be. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all things Dynamics and be notified of additional videos within our account schedule series. Feel free to contact us at westerncomputer.com if you have any questions. Thanks so much.